Madwoman Maxine Waters tells crowd she's ready to kill Trump herself. Look what happened seconds later. No matter what your political affiliation, we should be able to all agree that we need some sort of law and order. Without it, we're anarchists describing to a might makes right system of government that is bound for failure. If you don't believe that, just ask yourself when was the last time you found yourself in a room where the loudest and toughest person was also the wisest and most thoughtful. Because human nature is what it is, even in a country where we value the right to defend ourselves, we also can just take people out because we don't like them, and we certainly can't dismantle a fairly elected government because we personally don't agree with it. That concept seems to be lost on some of the Democratic representatives who warm the seats of Congress these days. They are circulating the kind of extremist rhetoric that causes unrest among those who already had questionable moral foundations, and it's verging on illegal. The worst offender is, of course, Maxine Waters, whose recent speech was more than objectionable, railing against the president. America's Freedom Fighters reports that her statements were at best, crossing over into threatening. While this might seem like a clear reason to distance yourself from a political figure, Apparently the good people of New York think that Waters is right on track, considering the thunderous applause. During an appearance at the Ali Forney Center Gala in New York City, Congresswoman and impeachment minstrel Maxine Waters promised a roaring crowd that she would take out the president that very night, a statement that has left many wondering if this was a direct threat on President Trump's life or whether it was some sort of sick joke especially in the wake of Representative Steve Scullies being shot by a liberal. Waters made the promise to the group, which benefits homeless LGBTQ youth, amid a backdrop of violence against conservatives and the mainstream media literally picking apart every single thing Trump says or does for any hint of something to attack him over. It's safe to assume they won't be doing the same after Waters' disgusting remarks. I'm sitting here listening, watching, absorbing thinking about Holly even though I never met him. And with this kind of inspiration, I will go and take out Trump tonight, Waters stunningly said. This stunningly direct video was, according to a report in the American Mirror, taken down once, and has been replaced just days ago. It's easy to see why, since a high-ranking Democratic Congresswoman who supposedly represents millions of American sentiments is talking as if she plans to harm the President of the United States. While it's debatable that Waters actually does represent as many Americans as she would like to think, it's downright despicable that she's able to speak so openly against a sitting president without retribution. Omar Navarro, a Republican who is running against Waters in next year's congressional elections, called for her arrest in a post he made to Twitter. Navarro went on saying, Secret Service should call for Maxine Waters' immediate resignation after these comments. We don't need lip service. Waters, unfortunately, wasn't alone in her violently charged rhetoric, either. Democratic Chairman Tom Perez piled on, calling the president dangerous. We have the most dangerous president in American history and one of the most reactionary congresses in American history, Democratic Chairman Tom Perez said during his speech. Perez also labeled Trump an existential threat with no apparent worry that his words could be taken, along with those by Waters and other liberals in the media, as ammunition for a crazy leftist to once again attack Congress or even the White House. Perez's comments come as he reorganizes the DNC to better serve establishment candidates, pushing out several prominent Bernie Sanders supporters while pretending the shuffle was about diversity when in reality it was a transparent move to make sure he can control who the party supports for president in 2020. Going back to liberals at seemingly embracing violent rhetoric against the president, it is important to keep in mind that the mainstream media themselves are also directly complicit in this move towards violence as they have either contributed to the vicious rhetoric or refused to call out those that have. These comments are more than just troubling, they're cause for action by the Secret Service. It's up to law enforcement to show those who outrageously support people like Waters that these crimes against the president aren't something we should be clapping about. Waters seemed to take their applause as the green light to turn every speech that she makes into a political impeachment rally. Just two days after the gala, 
Waters made these comments at a benefit. We face unprecedented challenges today in our struggle against HIV and AIDS and I want you to know those people in Congress on the opposite side of the aisle from me control every branch of our federal government, Waters said. And we have, unfortunately, an unstable, erratic person in the White House. We don't know what this president will do, or say, or tweet from one day to the next. Don't forget, this is not a political event, but I'm heading toward impeachment. She does know that it's not a political event, but any day she gets to jab the president or rally support for her unprecedented impeachment campaign, is a good day for Waters, apparently. It's time that the American people take back their seats in Congress and elect politicians who will uphold the law instead of playing fast and loose with it, loose with it.